Hey Brain Stuff, it is me, Ben. So have you heard about how pets sometimes go missing just before an earthquake hits? Or how about in 2004 when a tsunami hit Southeast Asia and killed more than 200,000 people, but almost no wild animals? Did you know that dogs, elephants, antelopes, bats, and even flamingos fled the scene before the waves hit? Even flamingos, man. Many people assume this is because animals are more attuned to their environment than we are. Others, uh, others like the United States Geological Survey, say that there is no connection between animal behavior and natural disasters. But if there were, wouldn't it warrant a closer look? I hope so, because that's what this episode is about. The majority of researchers looking into this aren't claiming that animals have some kind of weird like sixth sense or anything supernatural going on. What they do think, however, is that animals make a greater use of their senses than we do. So most likely, animals can hear sounds that we cannot, especially the infrasonic low-pitched vibrations made by earthquakes, storms, volcanoes, avalanches, oceans, and other stuff. So with their greater sensitivity to noise, it makes sense that animals would perceive these before us. If you heard a deep rumbling sound coming at you from a wide angle, ask yourself, what would you do? Hang out making sandwiches? I know, I know, the next question is, well, Ben, what kind of sandwich? But that's an episode for a different show, which you should also watch. Did it pop up? Okay. One study that supports this infrasonic hearing theory came about when a guy named Stanley Corin was studying whether dogs suffered from seasonal affective disorder. So one day, many of his 193 test dogs suddenly flipped out. They lost it. Corin couldn't figure out what was going on until a day later when he noticed that an earthquake struck nearby at a 6 0.8 on the Richter scale. Here's where it gets crazy. After reviewing the results, Corin found that 14 of the animals had hearing impairment and those were the dogs that did not become anxious before the earthquake. So digging deeper, he noticed that dogs with floppy ears were less likely to be agitated than those, you know, like perky open ears. So it looks like the strength of their sense of hearing was what attuned the dogs to the earthquake's low tones. Another theory is that through their sense of touch, animals can feel vibrations through the ground or sense shifts in air or water pressure. Scientists have observed that sharks change their behavior when storms cause pressure drops, swimming to deeper waters where they'll be protected. And they're not the only ones doing this. Birds and insects also seek cover when this sort of stuff goes down. Using animals to monitor natural disasters could potentially affect how we make safety decisions. China did this in 1975 when they evacuated a city before an earthquake hit after their animals showed signs of high anxiety. And it's estimated that they saved thousands of lives because of this decision. So what do you think? Have you ever witnessed an animal predict a disaster? Does your you know, cat get weird right before something goes down? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe so we can alert you to all kinds of cool stuff for your brain.